So at the beginning of every month, I go through all the sealed Pokemon products, graded cards, and raw cards that I'm currently investing in. And I show you guys what I invested in the month before. So we're actually investing together. I'm never going to tell you guys to spend your money on anything that I'm not currently spending my money on. So for today's video, we are going to go through my 2024 Dream Pokemon investments. Some of these are very, very expensive. And some of these are a little overpriced. And we got to wait a little bit. You know, I can't just buy it right away. But all right, before we get started, we got to thank today's video sponsor, and that is Punch Out Gaming. Punch Out Gaming is my local game store and the number one game store in all of Minnesota. I've been to them all. On their site, they got a little bit of everything Pokemon, sports cards, so many video games, and so many video game consoles. And they got a ton of sealed Pokemon products. So you don't have to worry about ordering from Amazon or eBay. And they have one of the best selections of raw Pokemon cards I have ever seen. So if you're ever in Minnesota, they're 30 minutes north of the Twin Cities located in Forest Lake, and the link is in the description. Definitely check them out. All right, let's get going. We are starting off with the 151 booster bundle display. Now, this thing is honestly pretty hyped up and honestly overpriced. So I really do think we are going to get a 151 reprint sometime, and I feel like it will be these. These are like the easiest things to make. I feel like it'll be these and probably ETBs. So I really hope once that reprint happens, I'll be able to scoop one of these up. So that's why I couldn't put it on a monthly thing. I really think it'll drop. Uh, 410, 350, 235. That's probably loose. Uh, so it's, it's a very expensive thing to get sealed. Because, I mean, it comes with 10 booster bundles. These things are going to be gold in the future. So, yeah, I'm really, really trying to get one of these. Hopefully, the price drops. Well, it's up to 470 All the way down to 352 And back up to 400 Yeah. So, just waiting on this one. Waiting for that reprint. I really, really hope it comes for these items. Then I'll be able to get one a lot cheaper. All right. Next on the list. Celebrations UPC, I, st I still need more of these. I want to get as many of these as I can get. So, definitely going to try to get at least one more of these. Hopefully a couple more, but they are very expensive. They did have a little dip down to 355 Yeah, it's still around that price. Let's check the one year. 404 407 Uh... I think this box will be $500 here in the next couple years, no problem. So definitely going to get this thing. It's just such a good box. And it, you could probably open it. And like, There's a lot of value in this box. It's pretty crazy. So, solid box. It looks like you can get it shipped for $355. So, not terrible. Uh, I'm going to try to get mine in person. You know, it's a bigger box. I really, really don't want no dings or anything on this thing. So... Just going to be patient. Next, I only have one of these, and I want ten more. Uh, I really don't think we will ever get another Hidden Fates reprint, ever. And now, since Paldean Fates has actually been received pretty well, um, I really think the Fates line is here to stay, a little bit longer at least. So, yeah, I'm very happy with Hidden Fates. Was down to 161, let's check the year. Yeah, 160 was about the lowest price. Looks like one sold at 165, so it's not moving a ton. Yeah, ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Great box, and in my opinion, one of the best sealed promos we've ever gotten. It's so unique, the stained glass birds. Love this box. Uh, yeah, I would love to have like five of these at least. All right, next on the list, we're getting a little more expensive. Ultra Prism ETB. If you guys do not know what Ultra Prism is, honestly, it's the waifu set of everybody's dreams. I personally do not collect any trainers or anything like that, but I mean, I respect it. I mean, I don't respect the waifu thing, but I respect that people collect the trainers and they're very, very expensive. The amount of expensive trainers in this set is absolutely crazy. There has not been a set like it. So, and I actually really, really like the box. I'm a little upset. I kind of missed out. It was two hundred dollars before. I just, I just missed it. If I would have seen it at the two hundred dollar mark, I would have bought it right away. But 
Now it's all the way up to 250, 260. Let's see here. One, 157. I mean, this set was actually printed a good amount. So, you know, it sucks. But I think this set still has room to grow. And then, of course, on our channel, we're fans first, collectors second, investors third. I mean, half of these are more collecting than investing. But, I mean, you're spending a lot of money. These are all great products that will gain value. It just depends on how long. But uh, once the Ultra Prism, like once it gives a little more time and people realize that this is the best trainer set ever made, I think it'll still go up more. And then they do have another box. You know, they got the two versions. This one's a lot more expensive. So this thing went all the way up to, you know, 325 So I think I'm actually going to buy this box here in the next couple weeks. Uh, I'm watching a few on eBay right now, just trying to find a really nice one. I just love it, and I love the color. I just watched this uh, show again, this season. It's it's okay. But I love this part. When these guys come in, that's when it gets crazy. So, All right, next. So, yeah, the other one, I don't know if I'm going to buy it at that price. That's pretty expensive. I'd probably rather just buy two of those ones. So, Next. I don't know why these pictures are blurry on TCG Player. I don't know. But this to me, now if you guys don't know what XY Breakthrough is, this is the ultimate Mewtwo set. There are literally 10, I'm not even exaggerating, 10 beautiful Mewtwo cards in this set. It's the best Mewtwo set ever created. And um, they do have two versions of this one also. The X and the Y. The pictures were blurry for both. Um, again, such a good set. I would love to get this. And it's pretty crazy. Everybody talks, oh, ETBs, you know, they suck. They're not nearly as good as booster boxes. But some of these ETBs are very expensive compared to their booster boxes. So let's see here. I'm going to jump a little jump, I'm gonna jump a little bit ahead. So this is the breakthrough ETB at 350, let's say. And now here's the actual booster box at $700. 350 to 700 Like that's... That's an expensive ETB. So ETBs do very, very well. I know this stuff is printed way less than our stuff is now. But there's a market for it. A lot of people cannot spend $500 to $1,000 on a booster box. To where the $100 to $300 ETB is actually in you know the realm of possibilities. There's always a space for it. Alright, so yeah, next. Team up. This thing's going up. I knew it. I've seen this thing at $500, and I feel like this is going to be a $750 ETB very, very soon. I think even the booster box is up to $2,300 now. In my opinion, this is one of the best-looking ETBs, too. The yellow really, really pops. Every time I see this thing in person, like at a you know, a card show or anything like that, it just, my eye just catches it right away. Such a good box. And then, like I said, I mean, here's proof. The breakthrough. What was that? $350. Booster box, what's the booster box? 700, so that's almost like, let's say half. But this ETB is, you know, only 25% as expensive as the booster box. So this ETB still has room to grow. These, you know, the XY Breakthrough ETBs are pretty expensive, but I still really, really want them. All right, um, next, Ultra Prism. You know, same thing, booster box, 675, but those ETBs are like 300 bucks. Uh, love this set, like I said, and I'm not even the biggest trainer fan, but just the amount of value in this set is crazy. I definitely suggest you guys go on and take a little peek at this set. It will blow your mind. And uh, let's check the prices here. It's always sad looking at these. $395, $650. But I mean, you got to jump in eventually. You know, you can just can never wait. You can't just wait forever. It's, you got to do it. And, you know, I want to get some more higher priced items. And like I said, I'm a fan first, collector second, investor third. So the fan part of me really wants this box, even though the price is very expensive. But I'm also watching a few of these. Because like I said, compared to the ETB, I think these are very undervalued. And I know this set was printed a lot more. But, such a good set. Next, XY Primal Clash. Again, don't know why the picture is blurry. 
This box is actually going down a little bit. It's leveling out. 612 up to 624 down to see last price was 550 so i do like that this set is kind of leveling out it really really makes me want to get it i think it's one of the best looking boxes the etbs for this set are very expensive they're some of the best looking etbs so i would definitely definitely be happy getting one of these primal clash booster boxes uh i think it'll be a thousand dollar booster box one day it's it's a cool set Next, the breakthrough again. We already looked at this. So, you know, it was down 400 or whatever. $715. Best Mewtwo set ever created. I still feel like that's undervalued. Next, XY Ancient Origins. So, this set has uh, the Primal Groudon, uh, Kyogre, and the uh, Rayquaza in it. Such a cool set, such a unique set. It is my personal favorite set. Uh, for the XY era, it's beautiful, very expensive, but this thing is also going down a little bit, so I'm definitely going to be watching it. I hope it goes down a little bit more. If it gets down to that 800 mark, 850, maybe even 750, I'm definitely getting one of these things. Cannot go wrong there. Such a good set. There's only two on here. Uh, and by the way, TCG Player is one of the worst places to buy vintage products. Even these prices are just, you know, they only are going off what they can really get. So it's it's not the best. Next, we got two things left. I still need this card. Now, I wanted to get every single Sword and Shield alternate art, and I'm like eight or nine away. I do need the Moonbrion, which we did pull on release and sold for like 500 something dollars. I really don't want to spend that much money on that card. I think it's just a completely overpriced card. So I hope one day that thing will start coming down. Uh, I would rather have two of these than that card. So definitely, I'm trying to find a very nice copy. So I'm going to go to a lot of card shows and stuff this year. And I've been watching online, but it's a very expensive card. And I just keep waiting on it because I just can never find a good copy. Everybody's grading the good copies. And I'm not even going to grade it. I just want it to be good to where, you know, I always see people, why don't you grade your cards? It's like, I'm not going to sell them right now. Why would I grade them right now? I'm just wasting money grading cards. You know, I can grade it any time down the road. And here's a little hot take that I think a lot of people are not thinking about. I think this era is going to be known as kind of the junk slab era. That's why I'm probably investing the least in graded cards. I really think five, ten years down the road, PSA is going to come up with a new grading system, which is going to be true, you know, gem mint 10s with technology and everything because there's just so many complaints about the, you know, the constant grading that's just all over the place. So, and once they do, they'll probably, you know, update the labels or something, you know, it'll be a little bit different to where all of these cards you know, are going to be known as like the junk slab era. And you're going to have to get your cards regraded if you really want to get that gem mint 10. And you're going to be shocked at how many gem mint 10s are not gem mint 10s. You can send all your PSA gem mint 10s over to Beckett and try to get an actual, you know, 10 from there. And it's, it's so tough. I've personally tried it. It's tough. I sent in nine gem mint 10s and only one came back as a 10 from Beckett. So... It's crazy. See, I'm hunting for a beautiful copy of this card because in my opinion, it's the best card in Sword and Shield era. It's the most unique. And now next on the list, it is a graded card because I want to have a little bit of variety. Uh, this is my favorite Pokemon of all the Sword and Shield alternate arts that they did. Love this card and it's held such good value. Such a beautiful card. I don't think you'll ever really lose money on it. So I'm definitely going to try to find a nice uh, Gemmin copy. Try to find one for you know under $200. I am currently searching as we speak, but uh, love this card, and I really think this card could even be, I could see this card being a $150, $200 card raw down the road. You know, it's in Evolving Skies. There's just so many good cards in Evolving Skies. I think it kind of gets, you know, all the evolutions and all that, and it just, Rayquaza, it just gets kind of swept under the rug, but such a good card. Love it. So yeah, these are all the you know investments that I'm trying to get in the year 2024. Like I said, 
Some of these are very expensive where I'm only going to be able to get one if I do get one. And a lot of these things I think are overpriced. Like some of these ETBs are definitely a little overpriced right now. I hope they come down. I hope things settle. But you just got to watch it. When you really, really want something, you just got to watch it. You can save the search on eBay also to where anytime someone puts, you know, posts that item, you get a notification. So that's what I always do when I'm hunting for something. So yeah, hopefully in the entire year 2024, I can get all of these items. That is my goal. Along with the smaller goals of the monthly items like, you know, Crown Zenith ETBs, the Crown Zenith Galarian Bird Tins, just anything 151. So, and like I said, I love investing with you guys. I'm never, ever going to tell you guys to get anything that I'm not currently buying. So please let me know down below if you guys are searching for any of these items or if you have any of these items. If you guys have every item on this list, please let me know. I would be very, very jealous. It would be such a nice collection, especially, you know, if you didn't overpay, like I'm about to on some of these items. But you got to do it eventually. So. so if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. My name is Polka Beard. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. If you guys would like to support, you can now become a member for 99 cents a month. Or you can check out my eBay store. It has 100% positive feedback with over 20,000 cards sold. And if you guys want to check out my new series called Pokemon Falling Friday, click this video. Otherwise, see you later.